Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts. Drivers, start your engines. Race activated. Sheer passion. Change the game forever. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Racing with Celebs. Welcome to another exciting episode of Racing with Celebs. My name is Donovan Clyde and together with my co-host Johan Sneeman, we will be chilling with you and discuss racing, cars and tracks with the experts while being entertained by our celebrity. Our word for the day is dog leg, a gentle turn or kink on a racing circuit usually associated with road courses but also present on oval tracks. Our celebrity for today is no one else than one of the most prolific fly halves in rugby, Mr. Simply the Best Mornay Stain. Mornay Stain was born on the 11th of July 1984 in Cape Town. Mornay was a member of the team that won the 2007, 2009 and 2010 Super Rugby competitions, ending both the 2009 and 2010 seasons as the leading point scorer and setting a record of four drop goals in one single match. Mornay has won an Under-21 World Cup, two Curry Cups, three Super Rugby titles, one Tri-Nations and a French Top 14 title. Well, more about this talented fly half from my co host Johan Sneeman. Thank you, Donovan. Mornaystein is a household name and has blown us away game after game after game. Hello, my name is Johan Sneeman, and today we are at Pro Kart Triple S for some outdoor karting. The Pro Kart Super Single Endurance Kart Series is unique in South African karting and has been for the last 20 years. A series of nine endurance races for teams of up to six drivers. Unlike most other formulas, the Pro Kart Triple S is based on equalizing the playing field, so the dominant factor in winning is driver skill, preparation and strategy. It's now time to introduce you to our celebrity, Mornay Stein. Mornay, welcome to Racing with Celebs. It's an honor for us to have you on the show. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a bit of a different feel than I'm used to. I like, I like racing, I like go-karts, so I'm looking forward. What are your expectations for today? I don't know, I don't know what this car can do, so hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy afterwards. Well, it's time for our safety briefing. Good, thank you. Join us after the break as we head from Mornay Stain into the action out on track here in V-Town. Welcome to episode 9 of Racing with Celebs, proudly brought to you by all our associate sponsors. Once again, we're in the karting fraternity this time out, but we're joined by a big celebrity from the uh, world of rugby. Mornay Stain is going to see what he can do in amongst our crew from Racing with Celebs. We're in V-Town at the Vrindigan Kart Circuit and some final instructions now have been given to our crew. And to Mornay Stain, it looks like he's going to be in amongst some, not only of our uh, racing crew from Racing with Celebs, but some of our top karters in the country as well, as they get to grips with these little rental karts that uh, Patsy and her team give the general public a chance to enjoy the sport of karting here in Vita. First time out now for Mornay Stain to be in the mix amongst a couple of these drivers. There's a couple of seasoned campaigners when it comes to the sport of motorsport as well as the sport of karting. And uh, they're going to give uh, our rugby player a bit of a run for his money here. 
It's a completely different scenario to throw a ball backwards to go forwards, but of course, Mornay Steiner in the mix and looking for a chance to be part and parcel of this incredible episode of Racing with Celebrities. Celebs here, of course, are Mornay Steiner. We've already had an incredible outing with Clint Aplon uh, in the previous edition, and of course, now looking forward to see what Mornay can do. We're on board here with Mornay Steiner as they go into what would be the start of the Peterson chicane, but of course, they're running the slightly shortened version of the circuit. It's not the full kart circuit that happens here. And this, of course, also one of the incredible circuits that is FIA and FIK certified. National championships have been running here for a long, long time, and Patsy Ruiz and her entire team put on a great job. And oh, there you go. Get it onto the dirty stuff if you have to. That's not where you want to be putting a cart, though. That is for sure. Let's see if we can get that man recovered and back on track. And uh, looking like there's going to be a little bit of opportunity here for a, for a recovery. But uh, recovery in karting is not the easiest thing to do. That is for sure particularly on the short circuit here in Vita. Change up for second. Looking for opportunities wherever they are. And as they go through there, of course, it's a right-hander, then it goes into a left-hander. The left here, of course, very difficult to get right. Double right-hander onto the short Tolkien straight and heading towards uh, the Tolkien corner. It's one of the most famous corners in karting in South Africa. And you can see just how hard they're pushing each other as they head down towards Tolkien now. Tolkien corner is a right-hander, but it goes straight into a left-hand and right-hand flick. It's almost a little S-bend that comes out into the second-last corner of the V-Town circuit, and then into the final corner itself. Further back action happening here as Flippy Fenter starts to get the pressure on. He, of course, spun out earlier on and now trying to make up the ground. And applying the pressure here is exactly what you need to do in karting. Trying to stay off the brakes as they go through the corner, carry that corner speed as much as you can. It's a very, very tricky line to get right, to getting the right amount of corner speed or the wrong amount because that's what can happen if you do get it wrong. 360 degrees on the dirt. Mornay Stain has not been bet at all race long. And it looks like uh, starting to close things down there. Jan Steinman slowly but surely closing onto the back end of our celebrity. Can he keep it all together? He's flipped that visor up there on that spirit helmet just to try and give him a little bit more vision. See, he maybe just uh, missed thing up there. A bit with the visor, not used to conditions when it comes to uh, full format of racing. Of course, he's been used to conditions not only with the uh, Springboks but also with the Vodacom Bulls that in his career. This time out though, in V-Town, he's having to get in amongst the back markers now. Back marker looks over the shoulder. There's no blue flags today. Blue flags will probably be waving in a normal form of racing. But now, of course, it's up to Mornay to try and find a way past. Ruan is under big pressure though. Ruan straight him now looking for uh, a way to keep out uh, the second. Oh, there we go. Move on the inside. Johan's name are looking for a chance to dive through. Ruan spins out. Mornay hangs in. And it looks like he might just be able to keep it all together now towards the chicken flag. Flag will be waiting, and he has. Flag to flag, victory there for Mornay Stain, making it look, look so easy. He comes from the rugby background and he makes karting look like it's a, a walk in the park. Great drive there, beating out Snaiman Vessels, Fenter, Cornelius and Snaiman. No, very nice. I, some guys take, took some shortcuts there, but otherwise it's fun. Certainly is fun. Can he do it all again? Gets off the line nicely, looks straight back into his opposition. These carts are not built to come off the line that quickly, unfortunately, but they are fantastic to have there. Is that Etten Senna that's out there as well? Yes, well, there's certainly an Etten Senna S helmet. I think that might be one of our top carters. It is indeed. We've got a couple of youngsters that have joined us here today, and they're in amongst the thick of it here, big time. They're going to be showing us exactly what it's all about. Mornay staying up in third place now, avoiding the spinning cart there from third place. But of course, our two uh, youngsters out there, by the looks of things, having some fun and games. It's Jaden Gerson and Joseph Ellerin, of course, who are playing around here with our Racing with Celebs team. They come out of the RKT Racing team, which is great to have. And the two of them are going to be having a lot of fun here in amongst the uh, rental carts. They're playing in the real carts, though. That's the real racing carts that they'd be involved in with the Rotax Max and with the Rock Championships, of course, that happen here in South Africa. But great to have the two of them here. And, of course, uh, showing them the boys and our Racing with Celebrities crew what it actually takes to be a carter. Mornay Stain hanging on for now. He's uh, pulling away at the front end. This is the battle for second place at this point. And second, third and fourth now starting to uh, get into each other's grips there big time. You can see there's a nice uh, gap that Mornay's been able to pull out. Oh, and a little bit of tagging happening there between our usual contenders. And is that Johan off the circuit? It is. Snaimon gets sent onto the sideline there. Ruben Snaimon on the inside and looking for an opportunity now to hang on for second and third. Second, third. We're on board with a fourth cart on track as they go through there. Well, there's a fourth cart of our Racing with Celebs crew. Of course, they are now 
fifth and sixth place if we had to go overall because we've got our two youngsters out there having a bit of fun with these guys as well. Jaden Kirsten and Joseph Ellery enjoying the opportunity to be part of the uh, Racing with Celebs episode 9 here with Mornay Stain. Oh, running a bit wide there, that's not quite the right line there Ruben, but uh, we'll, we'll give you a little bit of uh, due there. Watch out for Carter's coming from the back as well as they go left and right trying to find opportunities. Mornay Stain has pulled away from these guys, the fight between them has been a little bit too much and unfortunately it's cost him time. But hang tight because uh, in a few seconds time we're about to get the youngsters coming through there in the real carts. Great dice here, and this fight is for second. Trying to hang on for that second place, and the opportunities are opening up. Kat Cornelius now in amongst the, the uh, thick of it as well. He wasn't quite there in the first one. He's certainly here now for race number two. And trying to find an opportunity that it might open up there if he does get it. Stain has, as I said, disappeared at the front end. Here we go. Here comes Joseph Ellerine trying to find a way past. He gets through relatively unscathed. In fact, no, that was uh, Gerson. So Jaden Kirsten just fighting away past, no problems at all there for the Tony Kart as it went flying past. And that little chassis and of course engine slightly different to what these guys are running here in the rental carts. The rental carts are four stroke engines so they don't have quite the same amount of pace as the two strokers but they still put on a good show and still go rubbing his racing style there. Pulling a bit of the dirt from the sideline onto the track and it's not quite what you want. But there is certainly some rubbing happening out there. And oh, another one! A big tag coming out of turn three of the short circuit. Stain has done it all right, though. He's got no worries at all. Look at that. Stayed out of trouble. And in fact, what he did was he stuck behind the two youngsters for a lap and uh, just watched their lines and got away from the pack, which is going to give him two wins out of two starts. Not a bad day in the saddle there for our rugby player. So Stain takes the victory. Flippy Fenta ahead of Cornelius. Then it was Stratum and Snaimon. And Jaco Vessels eventually coming through there for sixth place. We won't mention Jaden Kurson and uh, Ellerine's times compared to what we've just seen. Back into the thick of it for the third and final time today. And oh, there you go. Around the outside goes Kurson. Down the inside goes Jaden Els. The two of them trying to find a way around the uh, battle. It's going to ensue now for uh, the final bit of honours here in V-Town. The Vernican Kart Circuit, of course, has been running for a long, long time. And Patsy and her team do an incredible job here, not only regionally, but club races, and as well as opening up on the week, in the weekdays, for us to do what we do here with Racing with Celebs. We also give opportunities to guys to come and test not only karting, but short circuit motorcycles as well. National Motards ran here for a long, long time, and they were still under the Mr. Price banner. It was great to have those kind of opportunities and the incredible support that's given here by Patsy and her team. So out front, looks like Mornay Stain's got a little bit more difficult time of it this time. He sits in second place, not leading. So a clean sweep is possibly on the cards if things like that happen. Yeah, we got a spinner going out of turn one, which means now Stain has got the opportunity of a three out of three starts and three out of three victories. He leads things out. Johan is on his tail. Stain hangs on, Snaimon is second. Looks like it's Snaimon in third place as well. Very, very tight stuff between the, th the three carts here for the lead. Oh, we're going to see Mornay Stain possibly make uh, one of the best introductions to motorsport that we've seen on Racing with Celebrities, and that would be winning three races out of three starts. I think the only other person who's done that in the past was Nicole Kappa, but uh, I stand to be corrected on that one. But it'll be an incredible effort, particularly amongst uh, some carters who have done a lot more time in the saddle than what Mornay Stain has done. And speaking of time in the saddle, watch this. Around the outside, here we go. <laughs> Ellerine and Gerson coming along for the ride. Nicely done. Easily done. You can see slightly different uh, setup on that cart as well. Doesn't have all the bumpers around it and of course all the protective gear and a uh, slightly different uh, amount of power output that Ellerine and Kursen have got to play with compared to the four strokes. He has a move for the lead. No, can't quite make it stick. Kursen now trying to find a way around. He does easily. <laughs> it, must be, it must be quite daunting, I know, when you're sitting in a four stroke and you watch those slightly quicker carts come flying past you. Mornay, though, will be watching to see what the lines are like, if he's able to pick up on any of those lines. He has a move for the lead, possibly spoiling the day here. Yeah, no. Late breaking from Mornay Stain maintains the win, and or possible one I should say, heading towards the checkered flag. Stain now with only a couple of laps to go as he comes through the final corner and starts another lap. 
Very, very close stuff between these first three. And I think Mornay Stein might just have the BMT here to ensure that he stays up front. Mistakes like that cannot be made at this point in time. Otherwise, you will lose two, three cart lengths, as you can see. So, Snaymont looking to uh, make up the ground after sliding out out of turn one. But it's smooth, smooth driving and a very, very in incredible effort being put in here by our uh, celebrity for today. I don't think a lot of the Racing with Celebs crew realized that Mornay Stain would have this kind of prowess behind the wheel. And he has done a great job. Further back, battles continuing right the way through and of course, youngsters showing the boys the way around. Sliding into Tolkien. Getting it squared up and getting the power on. That's what you should be doing in these big four strokers as well. But of course, not as easy to do when you don't have that amount of power to play with. Well, Stain hangs on. Can he keep it all together now for the next couple of corners? Oh, he goes defensive. He can see just how hard Snayman is pushing. And he can't quite get through. So it's Snayman on Stain's uh, tail here, heading into the checkered flag. There's a dive on the inside once again there from Huerson uh, and Ellerine. And all the two youngsters there with the drone across the line. And there it is, three out of three. What an incredible day there for Mornay Stain, winning all three heats. And Snayman wins out for second place ahead of Flippy Fenter Vessels. Cornelius and Ruben Snayman coming through there. Straight I should say, coming through there for sixth place. Let's catch up with Mornay. No, very good. We had a couple of spin outs, a couple of guys hit me from the back the whole time. And I'm actually speaking to him. But yeah, <laughs> no, it was fun. I must say I enjoyed it. Up next, we catch up with Mornay Stain and find out how his career has been going and what his plans are as we get out of this incredible pandemic. We are back with rugby player Mornay Stein. Mornay, where did it all start for you? Oh, with the rugby or with the karting? <laughs> 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 no, my rugby career, I think I, you know, I grew up next to a rugby field. Um, my father was playing rugby, my two brothers, everyone was playing rugby. Um, so we actually grew up next to a rugby field. That's where the rugby part started. And the karting is just a fun thing. And you can just see how we enjoyed it here on, on the track today. You've played some big games for the Bulls, the Springboks, and of course State Francais as well. If you can pick one game that stands <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to pick one game, but I think uh, my first game playing for the Springboks, run into the field against the British Lions in Durban was my first game. And then the big game in, in Pretoria when I kicked the winning goal to, to, to win the series against the British Lions was, was special. But I think for me, every game playing for South Africa and for the Bulls is, a, is an amazing feeling and a, and a privilege playing for them. And how do you handle critics? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the thing you must start to, you must learn how to dub it early in your career. Otherwise, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long career for you. Um, I think wherever you go, it's, there's always going to be people that, that want you to play and people that don't want you to play. So the quicker you adapt with that, you know, it's the, it's the, it's the easier your rugby career is going to be. Because it's gonna, it's it's always gonna be there, but I just you know focus on the people who's, who's making a difference in my life. Um, I think you must listen to the to the right people out there. I think that's the important thing. Yes. And how do you prepare for a big game on the weekend? Just take me through your week leading up to to the game. Yeah, with this Corona, we haven't played in a long time, but yeah, usually you know the it's the coaches that that runs the whole week for you. But me, especially kicking wise, you know you build it up slowly towards the game and when you get to captain's run the day before the game you just fine fine tune it a little bit uh, before the game but I'm luckily I'm quite a easy and relaxed guy so I don't um, work myself too much up uh, before the game I stay calm and you know listen to your music before the game or whatever but yeah, luckily I don't have a lot of nerves before the game and uh, what do you like to do in your spare time Ah, oh, especially now I had a lot of time, especially to spend time with my kids, you know, I had time to do different stuff with them now. I like to cycle a lot now and like every rugby player we like to play golf as well. Um, but when you have a family, when you have a wife, it's it's difficult to, to spend some time on a golf course because now it's cycling, it's two hours, two and a half hours, golf is another five hours. So, you know, with the wife and kids, um, they, they limit your time a little bit, but just spending time with them is also special. And then if you can choose three words to describe yourself in, which three words will you use? I'm just a free-going, 
free-going, exciting, friendly guy. That's fantastic. Mone, a big thank you for your time today. We've enjoyed it and we hope you, you enjoyed it too. It was very nice and hopefully I can, in the next couple of seasons, I can hopefully join you guys again. Absolutely. Join us on episode 10 as we go from the track onto the dirty stuff and head to base four in Centurion with Colleen van Jasvelt. We hope that you have enjoyed today's episode just as much as Mornay and Johan did. If you would like more information on the series, the tracks or categories, please visit our Facebook page, Racing with Celebs, or website racingwithcelebs.co.za. Tot volgende week, as ja. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video.